I'm back. Um, I am planning on recording a floss tube tomorrow or the next day, in the next day or two, but I could not wait to open this that came in the mail late yesterday evening. Uh, this is my Black Needle Society uh, bi-monthly subscription. So this is the, it's not one of the specialty boxes. This is the regular subscription box. Uh, this is the September box. The theme is cozy stitching and I am so excited for this box because I'm ready. I'm ready for crisp, uh, cool days. It is 80 degrees here in Seattle today. Uh, and it's the first week of September. So I'm ready. I am ready. I'm ready for crisp autumn days and cozy stitching. So let's rip into this Black Needle Society box and see what they have for our fall stitching. Uh, this is, as I said, the regular subscription box. I think there's still a wait list. I will link all of the Black Needle Society uh, places below the Instagram, the web page, their like regular shop page, but get on uh, the wait list if you don't already have a subscription. Uh, because their boxes are fabulous. And if you did not see the January box, so this is September, there'll be one in November that I think is resolution stitching, like New Year's resolution stitching. And then the January box is a happy hour box that I got to help curate. Um, but all their boxes are amazing. Let's, let's jump in. Let's jump in. I'm so excited to open this. And I love doing this with y'all so you guys can see at the same time I do. Okay, so cozy stitching. This looks fantastic. I want to knit a sweater. Uh, so this, they always do a fun photo challenge. Um, and so there's the dates and what you post for the photo challenge and you have a chance to win a box, I think. Um, oh, a $25 Etsy gift card. Uh -huh. Yes, please. <laughs> Who doesn't love to spend some money on Etsy? Um, and then there's always a little note from the society from Katie, Laura, and Athena. Oh, look, currently available. Happy hour stitching with me. I'm so excited. And then this tells you um, what everything's in it, but I will only refer to that um, as we open it. Wow. Look at all this fun stuff. Okay, this says it is a charming owl oil warmer. So I'm going to like just bust into this right off the bat. Oh, I didn't bring. I had, I had already. Don't do this with scissors, friends. I had already used my box cutter to open the box. Um, do as I say, not as I do. This is not safe to do with scissors. Not a good use of scissors, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. Okay, I'm gonna open this thing up. Do, do, do. I used to have a bunch of the like little Scentsy warmers and I don't anymore, um, but I love owls. Oh, look how cute this guy is. Oh, I think you put a little tea light. So it's a little tea light and then my guess is these are the little wax melts. Yes, exclusively for the black Needle Society hand poured soy wax stitching season. Oh, that smells nice. Nice and clean. Like it's a nice clean scent. Oh, oh, that's so cute. Put that by your stitching spot to get a little, a little ambiance. And then I, I mean, I always love the needle minder. We know that that's the needle minder, but I'm so curious as to what this box is. So I'm going to go ahead and open this box too. Look at this. Oh. It says, every moment has its pleasures and its hope. Is that like a little teacup? That looks like a little teacup. Let's see. What does it say? Pleasures teacup. Take a moment to sip your favorite warm beverage out of the six ounce teacup. Uh, savor the simple pleasures of life. Quote from Jane Austen's Mansfields Park. Oh, I love that. I am a tea drinker. If you've been around for a little while, you know I love some tea, especially in the evening. So that's that's lovely. Is this some tea to go with it? Oh no, yum. Some granola, Bear Claw Kitchen, Cardamom Hill granola. Mmm, that looks yummy. 
That looks really good. If that's gluten free, I might lose it. Okay, let's open the needle minder. Um, exclusive needle minder. I love all of their like logoed packaging. They always just do the nicest job in the packaging. Oh, it says stitch everything nice pumpkin spice. And it's like, looks like a little cup of pumpkin spice. Lovely. Oh, I like that. Stitch everything nice. Yes, we'll do. Ooh, some specialty floss. Let's open up the floss. See what we got here. Ooh, some gentle art. Oh, they're the limited editions. Oh, some, now they didn't name theirs. I know sometimes the Stitchy Box names theirs, but there's a really pretty like prim tan. And this one is like a plum to like a washed out taupe kind of. And this one, green gold, is so pretty. I love me some Gentle Arts floss. I'm gonna turn up the light a little bit, see if you can get to see that color a little better. I'm chasing the light here a little bit. Okay, and then there's some pretty fabric from Fiber on a Whim. Look at this, so this is 32 count Belfast linen. I can't remember if you could pick your fabric or not. Sometimes you can, just depends on their supplier. And if you can, they send out a um, Google form for you to request. I feel like they did, like you could choose Linen or Ada. Look how pretty that is. Oh, that is gorgeous. Like sagey green to a little, it's called Cypress. A fat eighth of 32 count linen from Fiber on a Whim. That is really pretty, really pretty. And I'm seeing some foxes. Oh, Judy's Project Bags and more. And this looks like a little floss catcher. It's one of those little like felt that you can put your, you know, roll up your floss that you're not using on there or catch your orts. And look at the adorable foxes with hats and scarves. Foxes in accessories. Love that. I love these. Um, it's just, I, I really like having stuff like this in my project bag so that I can put the, you know, extra floss I'm not using, but I don't really, too lazy to put away, to rebobinate. And then, oh, this looks like project bag. This looks like a project bag, and you guys are getting a sneak peek of the pattern. But let's take a look at, oh, look at this vinyl project bag. Oh, it's someone stitching with a fox, and owl and deer, look at the cat, is like, what are these big things that she's stitching and imagining? Oh, this is a good size. And she's got her tea and her books. Um, Love this. Love this. Whose artwork is this? This is beautiful. Let's see. Uh, designed by Autumn Lane Stitchery. Autumn Wonder Project Bag. Erin of Autumn Lane Stitchery. It said, for this exclusive project bag, Erin wanted to play with the autumn scenery as a fantasy world both inside and out. The thoughts of the stitcher come to life in her cozy, happy stitching place. <gasps> no wonder that artwork is so good. Erin is a genius. Um, so that's Erin of Autumn Lane Stitchery. If you haven't seen their patterns, check them out. They're always amazing, their cross-stitch patterns. But oh my gosh, I love this artwork. Yeah, a fun fall project is definitely going in there. And then let's check out the pattern by the blue flower called Autumn's Hymn. Go sit upon the lofty hill and turn your eyes around where waving woods and waters wild do hymn and autumn sound. Oh my, and look, look at this pheasant. Oh my gosh, Janine is a genius. Look at that pheasant. I wanna start it right away. There's a lady stitching, are those cats? Another little like kind of pheasant and this woman pulling thread and needles and a fox. Oh my gosh. That is so good. That is so good. How am I not going to start this right away? Oh, and it's all DMC. Look at that. On 40 count cedar plank linen from Lakeside Linens. Oh, she's a big girl. 
172 by 163. Uh, not small, so I can see why done on 40 count. I might do it on 36. Um, oh my, but that's all just DMC. You can do beautiful things with DMC, especially if you're Janine. Oh, this was a good box. Oh my gosh, y'all. Okay, let's set everything out like we do. Gorgeous project bag, pattern, little thread catcher with the beautiful limited gentle arts threads. Gorgeous fabric by fiber on a whim. And then we've got the needle minder. So there's all the stitchy goodness. So that's all the stitchy goodness. But what I really love is that they always include these fun things that kind of go with the theme. So we've got this little wax warmer, some granola to munch on while we have our tea. That's fantastic. What a great box. So there it is, the Black Needle Society Cozy Stitching. So it's the Cozy Stitching Box. I can't get the box in having issues all right forget the box there it is there's everything that was in the box i hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing as much as i did and uh i will see you soon for a full floss tube update with all the projects and some knitting too so see you soon bye